Hey everyone, so in this video we will deploy a Spring Boot application onto Cloud Run, Google Cloud Run using the Docker file. We don't need to uh, build or push the images to anywhere in the Docker file that will be taken care by Cloud Run. All right. So this is again a simple CRUD operation, but we are not involving any sort of a database. We have just um, uh, created this uh, student model and in the app, in the service, we have some hard coded uh, some values just we want to show everything on Google Cloud Run so and you have a simple controller and you have a, uh, some endpoints for add remove delete and update the student records all right uh, only thing that we need required is a docker file so we have created docker file it's a simple base image and working directory you are copying the resources like maven maven w and pop file and then you provide the permission on this executable file then you in the linux you create some of the commands which are necessary required a very basic command then you have a dependency resolve and then your final command of spring boot running okay all right so now and the same is available on the repository and i already given a readme file over there right um uh, I may update the, some of the things maybe in future but currently it is all working so now let's go to the cloud run in the Google cloud you search for the cloud run and once you get it just click on this create service and out of these two option uh, if, if you choose the first option then you'll have to uh, you have to provide the docker image which is a pre-built docker image and if you do not want to do this thing all these steps you can omit this step and just click on this continuous deployment um, set up with google cloud build and here uh, if you don't see any sort of repository then you have to provide the username and password of the github repository uh, and then you need to authorize it and then you choose uh, uh, your repository so spring hello web and click on the next now you have two options docker file and go node this is even a further that you don't need to worry about anything the google will take care of everything so i choose a docker file and we have a uh, docker file on the root now click on a save and just uh, choose at hand um, just keep as it is and just make sure that you click on this allow unauthenticated invocation otherwise this url will be disabled so that you here if you click over here you can connect this application from outside the world all right so now click on the create and within few minutes or seconds the application would be running sometimes it takes 30 40 seconds sometimes take two minutes all right so let's uh, i'll pause the video now our application has been deployed now click on this url and it's working now let's try to see the endpoints yeah all are working and now see the endpoint say for example i am interested in uh, getting the student number three so id3 and the result is that the data for the student id3 are available all right so very simple you don't need to do any sort of a this is a, again a containerized application so you don't um, your application is actually using behind the scene the kubernetes and all the allocation of the resources will be done by google cloud run so you don't need to do even you just need to provide a docker file only and the rest of the things uh, will be done by google cloud run all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video